Hmm. Praise God. <clears throat> Hallelujah. Praise Master Jesus. Praise Master Jesus. God bless you, everyone. I greet you in the name of Jesus. Welcome you all in the presence of the Lord right now. In the name of the Lord be praised as we gather again in His presence to worship Him, to praise Him, to adore Him. I want you wherever you are to begin to bless the name of the Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus, just begin to bless Him. Bless Him, worship Him. <coughs> bless Him in the name of Jesus. Be in the mood of worship, be in the mood of praise. Let us adore God. Let us give Him praise. Let's adore Him in the mighty name of Jesus. Father Lord, we just want to praise you this minute. We want to worship you. Let's pray. We want to worship you. We want to, you know, praise you. We want to give you all adoration just like we have been doing. We are here again in your presence, O oh God, Jehovah. We pray that you come and be with us. We pray that you come and move with us. We pray that you come and guide us. We pray that you come and speak to us. We pray that you come and minister to us in the name of Jesus. Angels of God, we welcome you here on board. We welcome you to come and you know, be on guide with us in the name of Jesus. King of glory, we ask you to come and take absolute control. We ask you to come and glorify your name in our lives in the mighty name of Jesus. We pray that your will alone will be done in our life. The will of the enemy will not be happening will never take place in our life in the name of Jesus. The will of our enemies will never take place, but your will alone will take place in our life in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we reference you, we bless you because you are worthy. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Beloved, I want us to, you know, go in worship. Let's worship God before we go into our prayers tonight. I just hope that um, all is well with you. I believe you're, you're fine, you're okay, you're sound, you're healthy. And I, I thank God for your life. I thank God for your family. I know that uh, the God we have gathered here tonight to worship will not let us down in the mighty name of Jesus. I'm here tonight to just pray with you, you know, to pray with you, to lift you up in prayers. I know that um, in life, the journey of life is not easy. Many of us may have been going through one or two things, you know, about the journey of life, about you know, challenges and all that, but I am here tonight to encourage you that no matter what you're going through in that situation, the Lord will glorify him, His name in the name of Jesus. The Lord will glorify Himself in that situation. You don't need to worry much. You don't need to, you know, go weary. You don't need to think much about it. Just let God in. Let God in in that situation and let Him take over whatever it is that's bothering you in the mighty name of Jesus. So I want us to just begin to worship God as I just sing these songs, sing along with me right there where you are before we go into prayers in the mighty name of Jesus. <clears throat> that wonderful name, Jesus. That wonderful name, Jesus. That wonderful name. Jesus, there is no other name I know. There is no other name, that wonderful name, wonderful name, Jesus. That wonderful name, Jesus. That wonderful name, Jesus, there is no other name I know. Your name is higher, above all name. Your name is Jesus. Your name is high, your name is I am, above all your name is Jesus, your name is Lord, your name is Lord, your name is I am, my God, above all 
Your name is Jesus. Your name is high. Your name is higher. Above all the name. Your name is Jesus. Your name is Lord. From east to west. From east to west. No other God, no other God, from north to south. I say there is no, there is no other name from east to west, from east to west. No other God, no other God, from north to south. I say there is no, I say there is no other name from east to west, from east to west, no other name, no other name from east to south. I say there is no, there is no other God from east to west. From east to west, no other name, no other name from south to west. I say there is no other God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, my Savior. Thank you, my Redeemer. Thank you, my dear Lord. Thank you, my dear Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, my Savior. Somebody sing with me. Thank you, my Redeemer. Thank you, my dear Lord. Do something new in my life. Something marvelous in my life. Something great in my life. Oh Lord, oh Lord, do something new in my life. Something marvelous in my life. Something great in my life. Oh Lord, do something new, do something new in my life. Something new. Something marvelous in my life, something great, something great in my life. Oh Lord, do something great, do something great in my life. Something wonderful in my life, daddy, something great in my life. Oh Lord. You are more than what people say, Jesus, you are more than what people say. You are more than what people say, Jesus, you are more than what people say. My Lord, you are excellent, you are wonderful, you are more than what people say. My Lord, you are excellent, you are wonderful. You are more than all people say. Jesus, you are wonderful. You are excellent. You are more than all people say. Jesus, you are excellent. You are great. You are more than all people say. Abba Father, you are wonderful. Lord, you are. You are more than what people say. Ancient of days, you are good. You are wonderful. You are more than what people say. You are more than what people say, Jesus. You are more than what people say. You are more than what people say, Daddy. You are more than what people say. Jehovah, you are daddy, yeah, you are kind. You are more than what people. Ancient of days, you are good. Lord, you are kind. You are more than what people. My Jehovah, you are good. Lord, you are kind. You are more than what people say. 
You want more than what people say. You want more than what people say. That you want more than what people say. Jesus, you are more than what people say. My Lord, you are excellent. Daddy, you are excellent. You are more than what people say. Jehovah, you are wonderful. You are great. You are more than what people say. My Lord, you are excellent. You are wonderful. You are more than what people say. You are more than, more than, more than, Jesus, you are more than what people say. You are more than what people say, Jesus, you are more than what people say. My Jehovah, you are good. Lord, God, you are more than what people say. Jesus, you are good. Lord, you are kind. You are more than what people say. My Jesus, you are excellent. You are wonderful. You are more than what people say. Oh, they guna la di kena. Is a Jesus who they guna la di kena. Onyena ze wiri. O de guna la di kena. Chama ne mema o de guna la di kena. Chama na ze kwele o de guna la di kena. Mighty man in Batu, Degu Naga Dikena, Great man of war, O Degu Naga Dikena, Jehovah Yahweh, O Degu Naga Dikena. Mighty money warrior is your name, Lord. Ooh. Mm. Ancient of days is your name, Lord. Mighty money warrior, there is no one to compare you with, my Lord. I will keep you, O oh, oh, Degunaga. He can there is no one like you, mighty man in war, mighty battle. Is your name, Lord, mighty man of war, in the battle, mighty man. In my battles. Mighty man of war, mighty man of war, in my battles, Jehovah Yahweh, you are a great God in every situation. We find ourselves, you are a great God in every situation. God is able. My Lord is able to sort you out. No matter your pains, my God is able to sort you out. No matter your weeping, my God is able to deliver you. No matter what your God, my God is able. To deliver you, no matter what your shames are, my Lord is able to deliver you. Mighty man in battle, my God is able to set you free. 
my God is able, he's able, my God is able to deliver you. Never entertain any fear, my Lord is able to deliver you. Never, ever, ever be afraid, my Lord is able to deliver you. Jehovah Yahweh, my Lord is able to deliver you. My Lord is able, my Lord is able to set you free. More than able, my Lord is able to set you free. My Lord is able, my Lord is able to hear you right there. My Lord is able, my Lord is able to set you free. My Lord is able, Jehovah my Lord is able God. He's able, God, my Lord is able to set you free. In the mighty name of Jesus, our God is able to set us free. He's able to deliver us from every temptation, from every challenge of life. God is more than able. To deliver us from every power that is affecting our life. In the mighty name of Jesus. Tonight, we are going to be praying. We are going to be addressing some certain issues of our life with prayer. So many things are going on. We don't need to you know, wait until we are attacked before we can know we can pray to God. And I believe by the power in the name of Jesus, as many that are awake tonight, to pray with me tonight, the heaven will open and hear our cry in the mighty name of Jesus. I'm just here to pray with you with some prayer points. I'm just here to lift your spirit up. I'm just here to, you know, encourage you with the word of God in prayer. I'm here to inspire you with the word of God through prayer. I'm here to let you know that no matter the circumstance you find yourself, the word of God is able. Jesus is still able to set us free. Jesus is still able to deliver us from every infirmity of our life. Jesus is still able to deliver you from that shame. Jesus is still able to give you whatever it is that is your heart desire. Jesus has not gone on holiday to deliver his children. Jesus is ever present. He's right there in, with you. He's sitting beside you. Whether you are going to your working place, Jesus is with you. Whether you are sleeping, He's with you. Wherever you are going, Jesus is with you. He is right there with you. I don't want you to entertain any fear. I don't want you to be afraid of whatever you are going through. Whatever it is that you are going through. Tonight, we are here to pray that God will bless you. God will increase you on every side in the mighty name of Jesus. I just want us to... Be in the mood of prayers. Beloved, I want, to, I want you to be open to pray with me tonight. You know, no matter whatever it is that may be, you know, eating up food in your body, may be giving you sleepless night. God said we should bring our challenges, our burden to him in prayers. You know, he said we should worry not. We should fear not. We should complain not. But in prayer and supplication, we should make, make our request known unto Him. And that is what we are here to do tonight. Maybe you are sick in your body. By the time we finish praying these prayers, your sickness will go in the name of Jesus. Maybe you are wearing your... By the time we finish this ministration, your weariness will depart you in the name of Jesus. Maybe you cannot sleep, but after we finish this prayer, the Lord will put sleep in your eyes in the name of Jesus. Maybe you are afraid. Maybe you are afraid. The Bible says fear is not of the Lord. That fear in your life today, whatever area is coming from, after this prayer tonight, God will restore your boldness. 
in the mighty name of Jesus. God will restore your boldness. God will increase you. He will, he will empower you. He will strengthen you from inside to the outside. In the mighty name of Jesus. Maybe you are lacking. You are lacking something. Or you need help in one area or the other. God is our comforter. He is our provider. He is ever present. In, 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 you know, all we just need to do is to call upon Him, which is what we are about to do now. We are going to pray and call upon God tonight. And I know that whatever it is that is the issues of our life, tonight God will address it in the name of Jesus. I may not know them all. I may not know what you are going through. But I am here, led by God, to pray with you tonight. And I know that after these prayer points, these prayer points will surely meet your needs. It will surely meet one thing or the other in your life in the mighty name of Jesus. Praise Master Jesus. So I want you to be, you know, be encouraged. I want you to keep trusting God. I want you to continue to love God. God is worthy of loving. God is worthy of serving. We need God in our life, especially in this present age. Especially in the thing, in all these things that is going on in the world of today. It is only God that can save us. It is only God that can deliver us from all these things that is going on in this present world. May the Lord deliver us. May the Lord deliver us, child of God. I'm praying this prayer from my heart. The Lord, may He deliver us from every infirmity that is going on in this world. May God deliver us from every wickedness. May God deliver us from every shame. May God deliver us from every reproach. May God deliver us from every power that says we will not have our peace. May God deliver us from every power that says we will not, we will not be who God says we will be. May God speak for us. May God restore us. May God enlarge our coasts in the mighty name of Jesus. May He be our God in a time of need. May our God not abandon us. May our God not reject us. May we be acceptable unto the Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus. Prayer is the key. Before we go into prayer, I want us to sing this song. Prayer is the key. Prayer is the master key. Jesus started with prayer. And end up with prayer. Prayer is the master key. Hallelujah. Prayer is the key. Prayer, prayer is the key. Prayer, prayer is the master key. Oh yes, Jesus started with prayer. And end up with prayer. Prayer is the master key. Jesus do something new in my life. Something new in your life. Let Jesus do something new in your life. Oh Lord. I want him to do something new in your life. Let him do something new in your life. My God will do something great in your life. Oh Lord, he will do it, do something new in their life. Father, do something new in their life. Jesus, do something new in their life. Oh Lord, Jesus, do something new in their life, something marvelous in their life, something great in their life. Oh Lord, because they cannot do, they cannot do without you. They cannot do without you. My God, even me, I cannot do without you. My Lord, my Lord and Savior, I can never do without you. I can never do without you, Lord. I can never do 
without you, my Lord. Do something great, do something great in their life. As many that is watching in their life. As many that will watch after this life message. Oh Lord, something great. Do something tangible in their life. Something remarkable in their life. Something that they can never forget in a hurry. Oh Lord. Do something great in their life. Something great in their life, Daddy. Something great in their life. Oh Lord, do what only you can do in their life. Do what only you can do in their life, Daddy. What only you can do in their life. Oh Lord. Every knee must bow. And every tongue must confess. That Jesus Christ is the Lord. Let every knee. Most bow and let every tongue let them confess that my Jesus Christ is the Lord. Somebody sing with me. Jesus is the Lord. Hallelujah. Jesus is the Lord. Hallelujah. Jesus. Is the Lord. Hallelujah. Jesus is my God. Is able. Jesus is the Lord. Is the Lord. Jesus is the Lord. Hey. Jesus Christ is the Lord. Whether you like it or not, Jesus is the Lord. Whether you like it or not, Jesus is the Lord. Whether you hate him, Jesus is the Lord. Whether you love him, Jesus, even if you don't love him, Jesus is the Lord. He does not change him, Jesus is the Lord. Hallelujah, Jesus Christ. Is alone. I shall be what the Lord says I will be. Somebody sing with me. You shall be what the Lord says you will be. That is your portion. You will be what the Lord says you will be. What the Lord says you will be. What the Lord says you will be. That you will be. My dear, you shall be. You shall be. You shall be. What the Lord says you will be. No matter what the enemies are doing, you shall be. You shall be. What the Lord says you will be. Oh yes, you shall be it. You shall be what the Lord says you will be. What the Lord says you will be. What the Lord says you will be. You shall be. I say you must become. You must become what the Lord has told you. Oh, yes. You must become, you must become what the Lord has ordained you. Oh, yes, Lord. You must become what the Lord has ordained you to be. What the Lord has ordained you to be. What the Lord has ordained you that you shall be. 
Father, Lord, we just want to thank you. We bless you. We lift your name higher. Above other names, oh God, I pray for your children right now that are watching. As many that are watching life with me and those that will still watch this message, oh God. I pray for them, Lord, and I decree that they shall be what you say they will be. In the mighty name of Jesus. I just, I'm just here to pray with somebody like I've said before. If you're here with me, just be in the spirit right there wherever you are. There's no distance in the spirit. There's nowhere God cannot reach in the spirit realm. The eyes of the Lord is upon the earth. He sees everything. He goes everywhere. He blesses any man who calls upon him anywhere, anytime. All you need to do is to just open your mouth and call upon him. He says, call upon me in the days of trouble and I will answer you and show you great and mighty things which ye do not know. Until you open your mouth and call God, you will not know some certain things about your life, about yourself, about your situation. And that is why we are here tonight to call upon the name of God that cannot be insulted. The name of Jesus that cannot change. The name of God who created the whole universe. In the mighty name of Jesus. That which God says you will be, that is what you will be in the name of Jesus. That which God has ordained you to be, that is what you will become. No matter the handwriting of the enemy concerning your destiny, that which God says you will be, that is what you will be. In the mighty name of Jesus. That which God says you will be, no matter as many that is mounting pressure or fear upon you, so that you can be terrified and run away from your destiny. I am here tonight to tell you by the power in the name of Jesus God is here to equip you. God is here to encourage you. God is here to bring the best out of you in the mighty name of Jesus. God has sent me here tonight to encourage you that is afraid, you that is sick in your body, you that is dying of one thing or the other, you that has lost hope. The Bible says with God there is hope to the hopeless. In the mighty name of Jesus, I want you to believe that as you have, have tuned in tonight, the power of God will touch you wherever you are. The hand of the Lord will reach you wherever you are and he will heal you from inside. He will heal your pains. He will heal your, 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 your weaknesses. He will heal your mortal body. He will set you free tonight in the mighty name of Jesus. Child of God, I want to admonish you with the word of God in Job 5.12. And the Bible says, He disappoints the devices of the crafty so that their hands cannot perform their wickedness or their enterprise. And so I pray for you today. Every hand of the enemy performing wickedness against your life, I command that hand to shatter in the name of Jesus. Every evil hand com commanding, creating, performing evil wickedness against your life. I command that hand to wither in the name of Jesus. Every evil hand, every evil hand, the hand of the Lord shall wither them so that their hands will not perform their evil crafts against your destiny. In the name of Jesus, every evil hand, every evil hand, performing evil wickedness, performing evil wickedness, carrying out evil activity against your destiny, against your life, against your soul. I am here to pray for your soul. I am here to pray for your life. I am here to pray for your destiny because when your soul is delivered, your mind can be focused on the things God has called you to do. When your mind is settled, when your heart is settled, when your soul is settled, then your mind can be, you know, <clears throat> concentrate. Your mind can think straight towards the things God wants you to do, towards the things God wants you to attain. When a, a scattered mind is a scattered destiny. And that is why I'm here tonight to encourage somebody whose heart, whose mind is weak, who is lacking behind, who is giving up. I'm here to encourage you with the word of God and prayers that you need to stand up. You don't need to give up. God is there with you. God is right there on your side. He will empower you. He will strengthen you. Just be who God says you will be. Look straight into God's vision for your destiny. Look straight into God's idea for your life. Focus on the things that the Lord has called you to do. 
Be the who be be the person that God has made you to be. Be your real self. Focus your attention onto heaven. Don't be distracted by the winds of this end time. Don't be distracted by the hands of the enemy. Don't be distracted by the wickedness of the enemy. Don't be distracted by the powers that say that you will not be who God says you will be. The Bible says, surely they must gather. But their gathering is not for you. They must surely gather. The enemy will speak evil devices against the saint. The enemy will try to stop you halfway. The enemy will say no. Because I've seen that which God has put in you. I will not let her be. I will not let him be. But I'm here to tell you. If you cannot put your mouth to pray. You can cry out loud. You can say God tonight. I will not let you go. Unless you bless me. Unless you bless me. Just like Jabez a cry to God. He said Lord I won't let you go. Unless you touch my life, unless you visit me, unless you change my story, unless you rewrite my story, unless you repackage my destiny, unless you visit me. And I'm here tonight to pray with somebody. According to that word of God in Job 5.12, he said God will disappoint the devices of the crafty so that their hands will not perform their enterprise. And I decree tonight, every evil hand, carry not evil enterprise against your destiny we die by fire in the name of jesus every evil hand carrying out evil enterprise evil crafty evil manipulation against your destiny let that hand scatter in the name of jesus let that hand wither in the name of jesus let that hand crumble in the name of jesus i go with you again in isaiah 49 24 to 26 and the bible said shall the prey be taken from the mighty nor the lawful captive be delivered but thus says the lord even the captives of the mighty shall be taken away and the prey of the terrible shall be delivered for i will contend with them that contend with you and i will save the, thy children and i will feed them that oppress thee with their own flesh and they shall eat and be drunken with their own blood. Hey, masotoli branda bashata. In the mighty name of Jesus. Somebody, I pray for you tonight. Every gathering of the enemy against your destiny. Let them die. In the mighty name of Jesus. Let them die. Let the hand of the Lord deliver you. According to his word in Isaiah 49. Let the hand of the Lord deliver you. Let the hand of the Lord set you free. Let the hand of the Lord set you free. From every cage of the enemy. Let the hand of the Lord deliver you you from every evil pronunciation of the enemy in the name of jesus let the hand of the lord deliver you from every cage from every cause from every mouth from every evil garden that's not of god in the name of jesus be set loose be set loose be delivered be delivered by the power in the name of Jesus. Be delivered. Receive your deliverance. Receive your deliverance. In the mighty name of Jesus. Every hand dragging you to, 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 to backwardness. La hand to wither. We command that hand to wither. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Let those who are seeking for your downfall drink their own blood. Let those who are seeking to kill you drink their own blood. Let those who are seeking to kill your destiny die for your sake in the name of jesus let them drink their own blood let them soak in their own blood in the name of jesus let those who wish you evil let evil you know, overcome them in the name of jesus you will not die you shall live in the mighty name of jesus how will we do again in isaiah 54 verse 17 the bible says, no we perform against we shall prosper no we perform against we shall prosper no we for my decree that whatever we permit may be it shall not prosper upon your life it shall not come to pass whatever they decree against you no kind of weapon they will you know use against you that will stand that will prosper today every evil weapon fashioning against your life i return them back to sender in the name of jesus every evil weapon fashioning against your life i return them back to sender every evil weapon fashioning against your life every evil weapon using against your destiny using against you backfire in the name of jesus 
every evil weapon. The enemy is setting against your life. Every evil weapon. The enemy is setting against your destiny, against your marriage, against your children, against your career, against your relationship with God, against your salvation, so that you can backslide. Every evil weapon targeted against your salvation. Catch fire in the name of Jesus. Every evil weapon targeted against your relationship with God. Die in the name of Jesus. Every evil weapon fashioned against you to pull you down, to disgrace your life. Let that weapon return back to send us in the name of Jesus. Let those weapons return back to send us. Let them return back to send us in the mighty name of Jesus. Child of God, I go with you again in Revelation 13 verse 10. The Bible says, He that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. He that killeth with the sword must be killed with sword. Here is the patient and the faith of the saints. In the mighty name of Jesus, we are going to pray. Every man, any man anywhere, rising against you with one weapon or the other, whether be it weapon of word, be it weapon of action, be it weapon of whatever, oh Lord, may they die in their own weapon. May they die by their weapon. May they die by their weapon. In the name of Jesus, every evil man anywhere rising against you with one weapon or the other, let them die with their own weapon. In the name of Jesus, the Bible says they shall be killed. They shall die by their own weapon. In the name of Jesus, that evil weapon, that evil man or woman from anywhere, from village, from Africa, from here in Europe, against your life, Raising evil weapon against you. That weapon, by the power in the name of Jesus, I return those evil weapons back to sender. Let them be killed by their own sword. Let them be killed by their own sword. In the name of Jesus, he that wants to kill you, he that wants to terminate your life, he that wants to pull you back, he that wants to put shame upon your life, may they wear shame like garment. May they enter into their own trap. In the name of Jesus, somebody, are you praying with me tonight? Do I have prayer warriors with me this night? I pray that their own sword shall kill them. In the name of Jesus, that's what they are rising against you. That's what they are raising against you. With their hands, oh God, they shall slander themselves. In the mighty name of Jesus, they shall slander themselves. In the mighty name of Jesus. And the Bible says again in Isaiah 15, 7-9. He said, for the Lord God will help me. For the Lord God will help me. The Lord will help you. He will help you in the name of Jesus. The Lord will help you. He said, therefore, shall I not be confounded? Therefore, have I set my face like a flint, and I know that I shall not be ashamed. I shall not be ashamed. Child of God, you will not be ashamed. You will not be ashamed. Shame is not your portion. In the name of Jesus, I decree, shame is not your portion. Every arrow of shame fashioned against your life, backfire to the senders. In the name of Jesus, every arrow of shame fashioned against your life, backfire to the senders. Every arrow of shame targeted against your destiny, backfire. Every arrow of shame targeted against your marriage, backfire. Every arrow of shame targeted against your children, backfire. Every arrow of shame targeted against your studies, Catch fire. Every arrow of shame targeted against your health. And in the name of Jesus, every arrow of shame targeted against your business, die in the name of Jesus. Every arrow of shame targeted against your career, die in the name of Jesus. Every arrow of shame targeted against your brain, catch fire in the name of Jesus. Every arrow of shame targeted against your family, Catch fire and collapse in the name of Jesus. Every arrow of shame. The word of the Lord said you will not be put to shame. Rather, every power fashioning shame against your life, they will wear shame like garment. In the mighty name of Jesus, he that want to put you to shame shall wear shame like garment. In the mighty name of Jesus, therefore I return back to sender every garment of shame sown by the wicked word against your life. Let them wear that garment of shame by themselves. In the mighty name of Jesus, 
that garment of shame, we tear it by the power in the name of Jesus. We tear it by the power in the name of Jesus. We tear it by the power in the name of Jesus. We tear it by the power in the name of Jesus. Every arrow of shame, you spirit of shame against my life. Somebody shout it like you mean it right there. Say you spirit of shame against my life. Die in the name of Jesus. Die in the name of Jesus. Locate your sender. Locate your sender. Locate your sender. Locate your sender. In the name of Jesus. Somebody hear me. You need to take these prayers very seriously. You know, I don't come up like this with prayer, prayer like this. When I'm led to pray, you should know that something is going on in the spirit realm. I may not share with you what is going on in the spirit realm. I may not share with you God, what God has shown me in the spirit realm. I am telling you the truth. So take these prayers very serious. I am here to pray with somebody to cancel some certain things, some evil manipulations that is going on in the spirit realm. I am telling you what the Lord showed me yesterday night, breaking this morning. In fact, I can't explain it. But we are here to, to scatter the devices of the enemy from wherever they are camping from, from wherever they are mounting those evil arrows from, from wherever they are setting their traps from. Greater is he that is in you than he that is in the camp of the wicked. In the mighty name of Jesus. Greater is he that is in you than he that is in the camp of blood sucking demons. In the mighty name of Jesus. So begin to pray these prayers like you mean it. That every garment of shame against your life every reproach against your destiny. Let it backfire. Let it backfire. Let it backfire. Let it backfire. In the name of Jesus. Every arrow of shame. Every targeting spirit against my spirit. Die in the name of Jesus. Every target spirit against my spirit die in the name of Jesus every evil spirit calling my name for evil die in the name of Jesus every evil altar calling my name for evil die catch fire consume your people consume yourselves consume yourselves in the name of Jesus you wicked altar calling my name for evil consume yourself in the name of Jesus consume yourself in the name of Jesus, consume yourself. In the name of Jesus, you evil altar, you evil altar, calling my name for evil. I refuse to answer you. I refuse to answer you. In the name of Jesus, I refuse to answer you. In the name of Jesus, I refuse to answer you. Say, I refuse to answer every evil call of the enemy against my life from the coven of darkness. In the name of Jesus, I refuse to answer every evil call of the the enemy against my life from the coven of darkness in the name of Jesus. Every evil call of the enemy from the coven of darkness against my soul, against my spirit, against my life, against my health, against you in one way or the other, die in the name of Jesus. I want you to take these prayers like you mean it. Take this prayer point very serious. Pray them like you mean it. Every evil altar containing your name, catch fire in the mighty name of Jesus. Let them catch fire. Let them catch fire. Let them catch fire. Let them catch fire. In the name of Jesus. Say, O oh God of divine help, be my helper. Be my helper. According to your word in Isaiah chapter 50, 7 to 9. Be, be my helper. According to your word in Isaiah 50, 7 to 9. Be my helper in the name of Jesus. Be my helper. Arise, rescue me in the midst of danger. In the name of Jesus. God, arise, arise, rescue me in the midst of danger. In the name of Jesus. Oh Lord, arise. Rescue me in the midst of danger. In the name of Jesus. Rescue you in the name of the midst of danger. In the name of Jesus. Say, God, arise. Rescue me in the midst of danger. In the name of Jesus. Somebody hear me. In the world of today, you don't even know who your enemies are. You don't even know who your enemies are. Nah. People who are close to you, maybe the, evil, the enemy we are even talking about. I want you to open your mouth and pray these prayers like you mean it. In the mighty name of Jesus, that every arrow of wickedness fashioning against your life, may the Lord de detach, detangle you. May the Lord detangle you from any, you know, evil attachment, any evil entanglement, any evil entanglement against your life in one way or the other. May the Lord detach you from them. In the mighty name of Jesus, may the Lord detach you. In the mighty name of Jesus, we are praying again with Isaiah 54 verse 15. He said, Behold, they shall surely gather. He said, but their garden is not for you. They shall gather, they shall scatter. You are going to pray. Every garden of the enemy against my life. Scatter, scatter, 
scatter to pieces, scatter to desolation. In the name of Jesus. Every garden of the enemy against my soul, against my spirit, against my body, scatter. In the name of Jesus. Every garden of the enemy against my life, against my soul, spirit, and body, scatter in the name of Jesus. Somebody, I want you to pray this prayer like you mean it. If you have tuned in tonight, please open your mouth and begin to pray this prayer in your house. Pray it like you mean it and go to bed. God will show you revelation in the mighty name of Jesus. Pray it that every power carrying against your life scatter, scatter beyond repair, scatter beyond repair, scatter beyond repair, scatter beyond repair. Every power guarding against your life, every garden guarding against your life, scatter beyond repair. In the name of Jesus, every altar, every shrine, every garden, every association, every group, every group against your life, every group ganging up against your life, ganging up against your spirit, let God scatter them. Let God put confusion in their midst in the name of Jesus. Let them destroy themselves who want to destroy you in the mighty name of Jesus. Let them kill themselves who want to kill you in the mighty name of Jesus. Let them be put to shame who want to disgrace your life in the mighty name of Jesus. Begin to pray that prayer like you mean it. Pray like you mean it in the mighty name of Jesus. We are going to pray again in Isaiah 59 verse 19. The Bible says, So shall they fear the name of the Lord from the west and this and his and he is the spirit of the Lord shall lift up a standard against them. Oh, thank you, Jesus. We are going to pray. You are going to command your enemies to bow before your God. You are going to command them to bow before your God. That is what that scripture is telling us. Isaiah, Isaiah 59 verse 19. They shall bow before your God. They shall bow before the God you are calling. You are going to say, oh Lord, let them that hate me bow before you. Let them that is fighting against my life bow before you in the name of Jesus. They will bow and serve your God in the name of Jesus. Let evil altars that are going after your life bow before your God. Bow before your Jesus in the name of Jesus. Let them that is fighting you bow before your God. Let those altars that are fighting against your life bow before your God. Let altars that are crying against your destiny bow before your Jesus. Let those who say you know be what God says you be, bow before your God. In the name of Jesus, let them that trouble your life, bow before your God. In the name of Jesus, let them that say you will not live, bow before your God. Let evil, evil garden, evil conspiracies against your destiny, bow before your God. In the name of Jesus, they shall bow. I command them to bow by their power. In the name of Jesus. Whether they like it or not, they must bow. Whether they like it or not, the blood of Jesus will pull them down. They will bow in the name of Jesus. They have no choice than to bow. In the name of Jesus, they must bow. They must bow. They must bow. They must bow because your God is greater than the forces they are coming with. Your God is greater than their challenge. Your God is greater than their plans against your life. In the name of Jesus, your God is greater. God is greater. He is greater. He is greater. And he will, he will show, show himself in your life. In the mighty name of Jesus. I will read with you again. In Isaiah 8, 9 to 10. He said, Associate yourselves, O ye people, and ye be broken in pieces, and give ear to all, and give ear, O ye, o, 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 o ye of far, far countries. Guide yourselves, and be ye the guide yourselves and be and, and ye shall be broken in pieces. Guide yourselves and ye shall be broken in pieces. Take counsel together and it shall not stand. Whatever the plans of the enemies are, whatever their counsel are, whatever they are cooking, whatever they are going about doing, you know, ganging up against your life, it shall not stand. Tonight we stamp it that it will never stand. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, you are going to decree. That whatsoever be it the plans of the enemy against my life, whatsoever be it the plans of enemy against my life, I command it to not stand. I said it to not stand. I refuse it to work in my life. I refuse it to come to pass in my life. In the name of Jesus, begin to pray like you mean it. Pray like that. Say every counsel of the enemy, every plans of the enemy against my life, I reject it. I reject it. I return it back to sender. It will not stand. It will not work. It won't work. The name of Jesus. It will not work. The name of Jesus. 
You know, there is power in the spoken word. Whatever you speak shall come to pass. Whatever you decree with your mouth shall come to pass. Begin to decree it that you reject every counsel of the enemy. You reject every plans of the enemy. You reject their movement. You reject whatever they are planning. It will not come to pass. In the name of Jesus, it will not come to pass. It will not come to pass. In the mighty name of Jesus. I'm going to pray again. In, Jer in Jeremiah 1.8, the Bible says, be not afraid of their faces. Do not be afraid of how, you know, the enemy, what the enemies are throwing at you. That dream you had, do not be afraid of it. Do not be afraid of that dream. Do not be afraid of, you know, who has told you something. You know, sometimes in life, somebody will just tell you something that, you know, you will just, they will just talk, forgetting their brain, forgetting them, their, their self. They will just release the word, talk. They just want to talk, you know. Leave them. Don't be afraid of what they say. Don't be afraid of them. Challenge them with the word of God. Take them to the altar of God. That's what we are doing now. Release this word back to them. We are here together praying. The power of God is here. I can feel it. God is here. If you believe it, it will work for you. That is how it works. I'm telling you. So right now you are going to decree. God said, do not be afraid of their faces. Do not be afraid of their faces. Their strategies, their styles, you know, they are, they, the way they used to come and all that. Don't be afraid of their faces, for I am with you to deliver you. God said he's with you to deliver you. He's with you to set you free. He's with you to fight your battle for you. He's with you to deliver you from every hand of the enemy, from every power that has hold you captive. Tonight they will lose you in the name of Jesus. Begin to pray. Say by the power in the name of Jesus. I lose myself. Every grip of wickedness. I lose myself from every grip of wickedness. I lose my soul from every grip of wickedness. I lose my heart from every grip of wickedness. I lose my destiny from every grip of wickedness. In the name of Jesus. Begin to lose your soul, heart, spirit, and body. Destiny from the grip of the enemy. In the name of Jesus, I lose you today in the name of Jesus. I lose you today. I lose you today in the name of Jesus. Be set free from every cage of the enemy. Be set free from every bondage of the enemy. In the mighty name of Jesus. Be set free from every power of the enemy. In the mighty name of Jesus. No matter where they have gathered. No matter what they are cooking. No matter what their plants are. Be set free, be set free, be set free, be set free, be set free. The name of Jesus, be set free. The name of Jesus, be set free. The name of Jesus, be set free. The name of Jesus. The Bible says, Let God arise in Psalm 68 1 to 2. Let God arise and let my enemies be scattered. You are going to pray, O oh Lord, arise and let my enemies be scattered. O oh Lord, arise, let my enemies be put to shame. Somebody pray this prayer like you mean it. Say, O oh God, arise, let my enemies be scattered. Let my enemies be put to shame. O oh God, arise, let my enemies be scattered. Let them be put to shame. O oh Lord, arise, let my enemies be scattered. I decree, let God arise. Let every air you, let every enemies be scattered. Let them be put to shame. Let them be put to shame. Let God arise. Let every enemies of your life be scattered. Let them be scattered. Let them be put to shame. Let your God arise. Let your God arise. Let God arise. Let, God arise. Let your enemies be put to shame. Let them be put to shame. Let God arise. Let your enemies be put to shame. Lord, we pray that you arise. Let the enemies of your children be put to shame. In the name of Jesus. Jesus. Let them be put to shame. Let them be put to shame in the name of Jesus. Let God arise. Let every power challenging your life, your health, challenging your happiness, your joy be put to shame. By the power in the name of Jesus. By the power in the name of Jesus. Let them, let them be put to shame. Let them be disgraced in the mighty name of Jesus. Let them be disgraced. Let them be disgraced in the mighty name of Jesus. According to the word of God in, Ob in Obadiah 1, 3 to 4. But that chapter 1, 3 to 4, we are going to address every pride spirit, every pride spirit that is raising himself above the standard of God, that is raising himself above the, the, you know, the, the, what God has decreed uh, uh, concerning your life, that is saying, let me see how she's going to make it, how he's going to manifest, how he's going to do this, how he's going to do that. Every pride spirit, every man or woman that has spoken with you or to you in a prideful way, challenging the God you are serving, challenging your God. 
Oh my God, tonight they will know that you serve a living God. I am telling you, except if you don't believe, except we are here to come and see what is happening, except we are here, you know, to just come and play, except we are here to tune in and sleep off and tune in again and sleep off and tune in. But if you are here, and your mind is connected, and you know what they are doing. Your eyes are open. Your mind is open. You are praying. You are praying these prayers. My sister, you testify. My brother, you testify. In the mighty name of Jesus, you will testify. Because it's not of we that will it, nor of we that run it, but of God who mercy. The mercy of God will locate you tonight in the mighty name of Jesus. That mercy of God will speak for you. That mercy of God will set you free. That mercy of God will rectify every issue going on in your life in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray with you today according to the word of God in that Obadiah 1, 3 to, 3 to 4 and I decree whatever it is that is raise, rising you know, above the standard of God in your life whatever that is you know, standing against you pridefully whatever that is challenging you, contending with your glory. Whatever that is contending with your glory, may God contend with them. May heaven contend with them. May heaven contend with them. In the name of Jesus, whatever is contending with your destiny, whatever is contending with your testimony, may heaven contend with them. In the name of Jesus, may God contend with them. In the name of Jesus, whatever that is fighting you, whatever that is fighting your glory, your testimony, whatever that is fighting your health, fighting your children, fighting whatever it is God has given in your care, I command heaven to contend with them today. Let heaven contend with them tonight. Let heaven contend with them tonight. In the name of Jesus, you will be what God says you will be. You are the hand right of God. You are the image of God. You can't be put to shame. You can't be neglected. You can't be abandoned. The hand of God is upon you. And it shall <clears throat> spring forth. And you manifest that which God says you will be. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the precious name of Jesus. The Bible says in Zechariah 4, 7. He says, Who art thou, O great mountain, standing before me? For thou shalt become flat. In the name of Jesus, I decree upon your life. Every mountain standing against your life, become flat now. In the name of Jesus. Every mountain against your life. Every mountain in your body, every mountain in your health, every mountain in your marriage, every mountain in your job, against your life, be flat now. Be flat now. I command you to become flat in the name of Jesus. 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 According to your word in Zechariah 4 verse 7, oh God, every mountain your children are facing tonight, let them become flat. Let them become flat. Let them become flat. Let them become flat. Every mountain of sickness die. Every mountain of sickness catch fire. Every mountain of disfavor catch fire. Every mountain of backwardness catch fire. Every mountain of promise and fail catch fire. Every mountain of the you know come today, come tomorrow, catch fire. Every mountain of fear die in their life in the name of Jesus. I remove fear in your life. I put in the, the boldness of God in you. In the name of Jesus. Receive boldness. Receive healing. Receive restoration. In the name of Jesus. Receive your salvation. Receive your healing. Receive your deliverance. Receive it now. In the name of Jesus. <clears throat> in the mighty name of Jesus. Wow. The Bible says in Romans 16, 20. And the God of peace shall bruise Satan under your feet. The God of peace shall bruise Satan under your feet. Shortly, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ will be with you. Shortly, the great, this is an assurance. This is hope. This is the reassuring. God is reassuring you that he will bruise Satan under your feet. And shortly, that his, his peace will be with you. His peace will rest upon you and you shall testify. When the peace of the Lord rests upon you, it means that you, you, you are blessed in the mighty name of Jesus. Somebody receive your blessing. Receive your peace in the name of Jesus. Receive your peace in the name of Jesus. And we command every hand of the enemy, every plan of the enemy, every Satan against your life, all their agents, all their, you know, their, 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 their demons around you, let them bow before you. Let them bow before you. Trample them on, 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 on your feet. Trample them under your feet. Trample them under your feet. Trample upon them under your feet. The name of Jesus. Tread upon them under your feet. The name of Jesus. For God has given you that charge. God has given you that command. To tread upon them. To tread upon them. To tread upon them. Under your feet. Receive that grace now. Receive that grace now. To tread upon your enemies. In the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you. 
<clears throat> Father, we thank you, Jesus. Father, we thank you, Jesus. The word of the Lord says, whatever you command, you bind here on earth, shall be bound in heaven. Whatever you lose here on earth, shall be losing in heaven. Therefore, tonight, say, I lose myself from every entanglement of the enemy. In the name of Jesus. Lose yourself from every entanglement of the enemy. Lose yourself from whatever. Begin to decree with your mouth. Lose yourself from whatever you want to lose. Only you know yourself. You know what you are praying about. Tell God to lose you from whatever you want to lose yourself from. Maybe sickness, lack, you know, the, the disfavor, whatever you want to lose yourself. Pray. Let God lose you in the name of Jesus. Let God lose you. Father, lose them. Lose them. Holy Spirit, lose them. In the name of Jesus. Lord, lose them. Lose them. Lose them in the name of Jesus. Lose them as they pray. 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 Open their womb. Open their womb. Open their womb. In the name of Jesus. Open their womb, O God. To those who are believing you for fruit of the womb. Open their womb in the name of Jesus. Open their womb, O God. We bind every power that is eating up their fruitfulness in the name of Jesus. Whatever that is eating up your fruitfulness in every area of your life. Be it fruitfulness in your business. Fruitfulness in your marriage. Fruitfulness in whatever you are doing. Let the hand of the Lord lift you up above every limitation of the enemy. In the name of Jesus. And I will just thank you. We just want to thank you, God. We just want to bless you, God. In the mighty name of Jesus. Somebody are going to pray. You are going to command every power of death assigned against your life to go back to sin. Say, I will not die. 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 I will not die. I will not die. I decree that you will not die. I decree that you will not die. You shall live. 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 You will not die. In the name of Jesus. Somebody, I pray for you tonight. Your children will not die. Your family members will not die. They won't die before their time in the name of Jesus. You will not die in the name of Jesus. You shall live to fulfill your days here or night. In the name of Jesus, you will not die. You will not die. In the name of Jesus, the Lord will bless the works of your hands. The Lord will increase you on every side. The Lord will multiply you on every side. In the name of Jesus, you will not die. Child of God, listen to me. I say you will not die. In the name of Jesus, God will bless you. God will lift you up. God will encourage you. He will multiply you. In the name of Jesus, all that you have lost in years back, God will restore them, O oh God. In the name of Jesus, Father, restore your children. Father, revive your children. Give them hope, Lord. Restore them, O oh God, from every bondage of the enemy. In the name of Jesus, blood of Jesus, I soak them in the precious blood of Jesus. I soak them in the precious blood of Jesus, O oh God. Father, Lord, I lift them above every principality. I lift them above every power. Let no man trouble them, O God, for they bear on their head the mark of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, for they bear on their head, O God, the mark of Jesus. 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 O Lord, we bind and we cast every image Every image set against whoever, oh God, in our midst tonight, we command that image to backfire in the name of Jesus. Every image that is not the image of God, assign against one of you that is listening to me and the power of the Lord, pull it down in the name of Jesus. Every image, whatever that is not the image of God, against your life. Whatever that is not the image of God, that is embarrassing your life, that is embarrassing your destiny, let God tear that image in the name of Jesus. That image that is representing you in the spirit world, let God pull it down. Let God pull it down. Let God pull it down. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus. Every evil image representing you in the kingdom of darkness, May God, let God pull it down in the name of Jesus. Let God pull that image down in the mighty name of Jesus. Let God pull that image down in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, Lord, I soak your children with the blood of Jesus. I soak them with the blood of Jesus. I soak them with the blood of Jesus. Lord, I pray. I bind every pray, every blood-sucking demon. I bind every prayer hijackers. Any power that will say no to our prayer. Anything that will say no to our prayer. Lord, we cancel in the name of Jesus. Father, we pray for your mercy 
upon our lives. I pray for your mercy upon them, O oh God. I pray that you forgive them their sins, O oh God. Forgive them their iniquities. Forgive them their righteousness, O oh God. Forgive me my iniquity. Forgive me my righteousness, O oh God. Father, Lord, have mercy upon us tonight, O oh God. Deliver us from the hands of our enemies, O oh God. In the mighty name of Jesus. Father, Lord, we pray. Is there anyone among them, O oh Lord, that is yet to know you, that is yet to give his or her life to Jesus? Father, Lord, I pray and encourage such one this minute to give their life to Jesus in the name of Jesus. Maybe you are listening to me right now and you have never surrendered your life to Jesus. You have never given your life to Jesus. Well, I'm here to introduce you to Jesus. I want you to return back to Jesus. Maybe you have gone astray. Maybe you have given your life to Jesus and at the point you, are, you, you miss it. I want you to come back to Jesus in this hour. Come back to Him. Come back to Him. Confess Him as your Lord and Savior. Confess Him as your Lord and Savior. And He will help you. He will deliver you. He will restore you. <coughs> he will be with you. He will answer you. He will wipe away your tears. In the name of Jesus. If you have not given your life to Jesus, this is an opportunity for you to do so. Please confess Him as your Lord and Savior. Pray with me. Say, Lord Jesus, I am a sinner. I am here to give my life to you. Come into my life. Come and be my Lord and Savior. Delete my name from the book of death. Write my name from the, into the book of life. Restore me. Give me the grace to serve you till you come and pick us home. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for saving my life. In Jesus' name I pray. If I've prayed that prayer, you have just given your life to Jesus. I want you to look for a Bible-believing church. Engage yourself there and, you know, work out your salvation with fear and trembling gradually and the lord will help you as you do so in the name of jesus yes thank you jesus please those of you who are already born again i want you to continue your journey with the lord do not backslide do not give up no matter what is going on in your church no matter what is going on wherever you are fellowshipping don't give up you know <laughs> salvation is individual work out your salvation leave people the way they do their own thing just stop judging people Stop, you know, this one is doing that, that one is doing that. Just leave whoever is doing whatever they are doing. Let them do. On the last day, God will have us all at his palm. He will have us all before him to judge. Whatever a man has done, committed, will be judged by the Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus. But it's a pity and it's a shame. We need to know what God wants to judge us about. We need to be worthy of God's judgment. We need to try ourselves to escape from the wrath to come. Yes, heaven is real and hell is real. Maybe you have not thought of this before. I want to. I want it to sink into your brain that you begin to think that, of course, there is heaven is real, hell is real. Let's not be deceived by what we see today. Let's not be deceived by the things that we see in, the, in this world. The Bible says, "For what shall they profit a man if he gain the whole world and lose his soul?" May we not lose our soul. For the emptiness of this world in the mighty name of Jesus. May God help us to live righteous, to live worthy <coughs> of His judgment till the last day in the mighty name of Jesus. I encourage you just be faithful to God, continue to serve your God, be faithful, focus on your journey, focus on your journey. I mean it seriously, focus on your journey, you know, don't allow. <laughs> anything <clears throat> anything that is not of God to distract you in the mighty name of Jesus. One minute, I want to get you, introduce to you some of my books here that, you know, will encourage you as a believer in the Lord. And the Lord will help you in the mighty name of Jesus. I just want to, you know, encourage us with my books here. By the grace of God, the Lord has helped me to write these books. This is one of my books. Make Jesus your friend. So if you have not made him your friend, please make him your friend. Make him your friend. Jesus is the best friend you can have. Forget about all these worldly friends. They can disappoint you at any damn time. They are not reliable. They are not worthy. <coughs> it's only Jesus who can be your best friend. I'm not saying that you should not make people around you friend or have somebody who you who you call on as friend. But <laughs> remember, human being is always human being. And they will always act like human being. So when they act, don't complain. So 
embrace Jesus so that when they act like that, the love of God in your life will keep you going. In the mighty name of Jesus. The power of prayer is another thing you need. The power of prayer, when you make Jesus your friend, you engage yourself in prayer. You engage yourself in prayer. And it will help you grow more in the name of Jesus. To wage war against every device of the enemy against your life, you need to be prayerful. And the Lord will help you. Prayer, you don't get certificate to pray. You don't lift your two legs up or put your head down. Just pray. Open your mouth and tell God what you want. Prayer is a communication between you and God. You pray to God. God listens. God answers you. He communicates to you back. You have to come to God in a place of prayer where you tell God your mind. You tell him as it is with you and wait for him to reply you. And he will speak. He may speak with you. He may speak to you directly there. He may speak to you through your dream. He may speak to you through somebody. That is how you can get God's reply after prayer. So engage yourself in prayer and it shall be well with you in Jesus' name. Another of this, my book is Heaven or Hell. Heaven or Hell. Heaven is real. Hell is real. In fact, I've not started telling people about you know, the story, how, how this book came about. This book came about because of the revelation I had in 2000 and uh, I think 2000, that was 2011 or so, yes. 2011 about rapture in fact the what i saw it was it was terrible i'm telling you you know me i'm not uh, this type of people that like saying everything everything they see some people will say they die they, 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 they see this one see that one see the other one it's good to say it i am somebody that i i am i am moved to say something i don't just say i am i have to be moved to say something whether i'm ministering or however whatever god has laid in my heart at any time of my ministration, whether I'm ministering life in the crusade or church or wherever, if I am moved to speak something the Holy Spirit remind me of, then I believe that that is when God wants the testimony to come out that it will affect somebody's life. So now this testimony is about the revelation God showed me, 2011. In fact, it was, it was horrible, I am telling you. And that is why, how... You know, it was laid in my spirit to write this book. Heaven or hell. We have to make choice. In fact, it's real. They are both real. The choice is ours to make. And the Lord will help us. In hell, God will help us. And that is why you need to start making your journey now. You start need to be, you know, repackaging your life. You need to start thinking, you know, where to spend your eternity. You need to start separating yourself from some certain things that you know that will lure you to into hell fire. My dear sister, you need it. The Bible says, for it is appointed unto man who wants to die. And after that, judgment. If your judgment come now, if your death come now, what will you be judged about? People are dying every day. Who knows who is who, who's next? Who knows who, 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 who is going next? So we, we, you need to start amending your life. We have prayed all that we prayed now. We need open door. We need God to deliver us. All those things are good. But the primary thing is that you know God. You give your life to Jesus. You give your life to Jesus. You repent from your sins. You live your sinful lives. You live lying. Live fornication. Live killing. Live gossip. Live fighting. Quarry. People will quarry you. Definitely you will see people who, who will be against you. Everybody cannot love you. Jesus Christ was not loved by everybody. Even right now as I'm talking. Jesus still have enemies. So do we say because we have enemies we cannot exist anymore? Lie. You have to choose your lifestyle. How you want it. According to the word of God. The Bible say in Proverbs say, let, let, let the righteous carefully choose his friend. You need to carefully choose the pattern of lifestyle you want to live that will make you inherit heaven at last in the mighty name of Jesus. If you are not careful, people of the world will drag you to hellfire. And that is why you need to really watch carefully who is your friend. You need to really watch carefully how you do your things. You can, we can't run away from problems. We can't run away from people. We will be seeing people every day. Family members who is there to make you angry. Maybe you are married in your husband's side. Or your wife's side, they can make you go angry. All those things are temptations. People in your church can make you go angry. 
All those things are temptations. Pastors, members, everywhere in the whole world, problem, problem. Family, problem. Marriage, problem. Where? Where, where is it? Nowhere. Where you can get your rest is in Jesus. When you have Jesus, all these things we are doing on here, it's just to supplement the word of God. It's just to bring the word of God to come to pass. Because God said all these things shall come to pass. We will marry. We, get this, we, shall, we will marry. We will have children. His commandment of God. He said we should marry, replenish the world, feed the earth. So that is the word of God. But we should not take them as priority. They are not things to be taken as priority. Love your God. Love Him. Avoid distraction. Don't let any distraction of anybody pull you back from your relationship with God. Instead of a man to drag you back in your relationship with God, leave that person. Drag the person out of your way. Yes, that is the hour that we are now. We are not in the hour of joking anymore. You don't need to be joking with anybody with your salvation anymore. No matter who the person is. Yes. Yes. Choose here this day who you will serve. If you want to serve devil, face devil squarely. If you want to serve your friends, face your friends squarely. If you want to serve the Lord, my sister, my brother, serve God squarely. Find time for God. No, let, let me, no matter how little you are trying, God will be crowning your effort. And that is why, you know, this program is a little by little, a little become a lot journey. Don't say, how will I start? Oh, I have committed sin too much. How will I start? How will I? Forget. Don't let all those things occupy your brain. Start small, small. Start by confessing your sins to God. Start by promising God, Father Lord, as I've confessed my sins, I won't go back to my sins anymore. And you try to live by your word. And you involve the Holy Spirit to help you. You pray that the Holy Spirit will help you. And you will see God helping you. Oh my God, I am telling you. All these things are not done by a carnal body. They are not done by mere saying. They are done with the help of Holy Spirit, with the help of God. That is why you need to draw the power of God close to you so that the power of God can help you to weaken every carnality in you and help you to live above sin in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, I thank you for the life of your children. Lord, we have ministered tonight. We have prayed tonight as I am led. And I pray, O oh God, everyone listening to me right now all the ones i have prayed for lord you will heal them of their diseases you will heal them of their infirmity you bless them you visit their businesses their marriages their health their destinies you remove it lord you show them the right path of life you will cause your light to shine upon them oh god give them a testimony that will make them know that you love them in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, Father, I draw them close to you, Lord. Lord, I release your angels of guidance, O oh God. Somebody, you are watching me right now. You have been desiring to serve this God that is the way you're supposed to be. You have been desiring to love God more. You have been desiring to worship God with your whole heart. But sometimes you see yourself struggling along the line. Receive the grace right now. Receive the grace of God to cross that level which you are right now. You want to grow higher. You want to come close to God higher. But there is a, there is a blockage. There is a blockage. There is some certain level you cannot cross. This night I release the grace to cross to your next level spiritually. In the name of Jesus, may the mercy of God envelop you. May the power of God bypass all protocol of men in your life and showcase you where, he will, he, where he, His glory will be manifest in your life. In the mighty name of Jesus, Father, shine forth in their lives. Holy Spirit, shine forth in their destinies. In the mighty name of Jesus, Father, Lord Jehovah God, do not leave them nor forsake them. Let your light shine upon their paths, O God. As they go to bed tonight, Holy Spirit, go with them alone. Father, speak to them. Minister to them. Open their eyes of understanding. Let them dream heavenly dream tonight. Even, even if it is not this night, show them heaven. Let them know that indeed you exist. Show them the glory of heaven and, and, the, and the, the, you know, the, the, the fear of hell. 
in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, Lord, I thank you. I bless you. I cover them all with the blood of Jesus. All that they have been blessed with tonight, He will not rob them from them in the name of Jesus. Lord, we thank you. As we go to bed tonight, go with us, Holy Spirit. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Child of God, I welcome you all. God bless you all for tuning in. God bless you all, Barbara. God bless you. I say D, God bless you for tuning in. Those of you I can't see your names on the screen, God bless you all for tuning in. May the Lord honor you all in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Please, maybe you don't know uh, our website. Maybe you want to know more about ministry. I am lovely in Obi. I'm Evangelist Lovely in Obi ministering to you right here. I want you to visit our website, check out our ministry, check out what we do, get in touch, you know, get to know, involve yourself. And the Lord will bless you in the name of Jesus. Yes, go to our website on www.cbhim.org. Check it out and the Lord will honor you. Please, we urge you to also support the work of God, support our ministry. We have a project going on in Africa. If you go to Give Department, Give Section, in our website, you will see the project there. Please, we, we urge you to help. Please, so support. But nothing is too big, nothing is too small. And the Lord will encourage you. The Lord will honor you, your seed, in the mighty name of Jesus. God bless you all. And let us keep tuning in every Wednesday and every Friday. I'll be coming on live again on Friday. Please kindly tune in again. Let us, you know, be together in the presence of God. Worship Him. Give Him praise. There's nothing else. We just have to serve God. You know, no matter our situation, we have to serve God. We don't have any other God. I don't have any other God I call on. I don't know about you. I don't have any other thing. It's only this Jesus that I know. And He's answering me. And He will answer you in the name of Jesus. We thank you, Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Let's share the grace. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit rest and abide with us now and forevermore. Amen. Surely, God's goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives, and we shall dwell in the hearts of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Praise God. Sister Anne, God bless you. God bless you all. In the mighty name of Jesus. Cynthia Thomas, God bless you for coming in Jesus' name. God bless you also. I will be leaving you guys now until we meet again on Wednesday, on Friday. Until we see then on Friday. Remain blessed. Remain blessed. The Lord honor you all for tuning in tonight in Jesus' mighty name. Amen.